I've got the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 right here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to install the Orange Fox Custom Recovery, also known as the Orange Fox Recovery Project for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8, as well as the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8T. This is for devices with the code name Ginkgo, as well as Willow. And this recovery build is said to work as a unified recovery for both devices. So I tried to do a video yesterday showing you how to install TWRP on this device. I tried using the latest official build from the TWRP.me website. However, it was having issues with encryption. And from what I'm reading on XDA, it is due to that particular build. Most of the people who are installing custom ROMs on this device right now are using the Orange Fox. So I figured we could try that today. Now before we begin, we're going to need to have some things set up ahead of time. For instance, you're going to need to have the bootloader of this smartphone unlocked ahead of time. That is different than a SIM unlock. And I've done a previous tutorial showing you how to unlock the bootloader. So I'll be including that link in the video description below. I'll also be including a download link for the Orange Fox recovery, as well as the XDA thread for anybody who needs additional support on this particular mod. Now, once you have downloaded that image file and put it on your PC, it needs to be in the same folder as your ADB and Fastboot tools. And then we need to boot this smartphone, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8, into fastboot mode. This is also known as bootloader mode. And again, I've shown you how to do this in a previous tutorial. We're just using a button combination while the phone is turned off. And if, you're, if you need more instructions on how to do that, again, look in the video description for that specific tutorial. With the Redmi Note 8 in fastboot mode, we can then connect it to our PC with a USB cable and start the install process. So this is the TWRP build that I tried yesterday. We're going to be using the recovery image that I extracted from the Orange Fox zip file. And again, I'll be including this link in the video description. Once you have downloaded that, we need to copy or move it into the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. And once that's done, we can then start to type out the command, which is Fastboot space flash space recovery space recovery.img. Now what we're doing is we're telling the Fastboot file to install, aka flash, the recovery image file that we have in this folder to the recovery partition. So we're going to replace the stock recovery with this custom recovery from Orange Fox. Once you have all of that typed out, we can just press enter on the keyboard. Now you should see two things after that. You should see Fastboot is sending that file to recovery, and then Fastboot is writing that file to recovery. And both of those should get an OK message as well. If you do not see an OK message for both of these, then there's likely something wrong that you'll need to troubleshoot. Now a very important step is we need to boot from Fastboot mode into recovery mode. If you boot from fastboot mode into Android or MIUI first, then it is likely that Android will overwrite the custom recovery we just installed. So in order to get around that, we're going to press and hold the power button to force the device to reboot. It'll take about seven to 10 seconds before the screen will turn black. And once the screen turns black, we're gonna let go of this power button and we're going to hold the button combination to boot into recovery mode, which is the power button 
and the volume up button. And you're going to want to press both of those and hold both of those at the same time. You'll continue holding those buttons as you saw during that or through that first Redmi boot uh, screen. And after you see the orange fox recovery menu or screen, you can then let go just as you saw. So here we have the first screen you'll likely see on Orange Fox after we have installed. If you want, we can keep read only and not make any modifications. However, we want to install Orange Fox. So what we're going to do is we're going to swipe to allow the modifications. And I don't need to see this screen anymore, so I'm going to tap that never show this screen again. And now I'm going to swipe to allow modifications. And that's going to install the Orange Fox custom recovery to our device so that Android does not overwrite that custom recovery with the stock recovery. So here we have our custom recovery. And here we have all of the options and features of Orange Fox. Once we have done this and we have allowed modifications, Orange Fox should be installed on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 or the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8T, whichever device you installed it on. From here, you're able to install or flash any mods that you want. But since we are done with the installation of Orange Fox Recovery, I'm just going to reboot and boot us back into System, which is going to boot the phone back into Android, which in this instance is MIUI. I just want to show you that the Android operating system is still installed after we have installed the Orange Fox Recovery. The data has not been deleted or erased or anything. All of my personal data is still on that device. And I'm going to reboot the phone back into recovery mode so that you can see the Orange Fox Recovery is still installed and it has not been overwritten by Android. So this is my install of MIUI. All of my data is still there. And I can demonstrate that Orange Fox is still installed by turning off the phone and now simply booting up into recovery mode. Again, if you're not familiar with how to do this, look in the video description. I'm using the button combination method here. And you can see Orange Fox Recovery is still installed. I would like to try a couple of custom ROMs on this phone. I know Pixel Experience is very popular right now. I enjoyed that on my Xiaomi Redmi Note 10. So I'm likely going to try that first. However, if you have a custom ROM that you like on the Redmi Note 8 or the Redmi Note 8T, then let me know down in the comments section below. Let me know why you like that ROM. And that might convince me to try that out on this device soon.